In today's video I will be sharing six design tips for a small kitchen. So if you are renovating a small kitchen, this is the right video for you. Hi everyone, my name is Alini and on my channel we talk about architecture, interior design and home renovation. So today I will be sharing some tips for a small kitchen reno. Now if you have no intentions of renovating your kitchen, and you still need some tips on how to make your little kitchen more organized, more functional and feeling larger, make sure to check this video here where I share some tips about that. But don't go away right now, stay until the end because at the end I'm gonna share a bonus tip that doesn't require renovation at all. So let's start! Tip number one knock down some walls and open up your kitchen to another room. That will make a huge difference. As soon as you open up your kitchen to another room, your kitchen will instantly look bigger. I know in some cases we can't just integrate the kitchen with the living area, but there are some ways we can make that work. I will give you an example. On this project, we had a wall between the kitchen and the living area. And we couldn't remove that wall because there was a staircase on that location. There was a staircase between kitchen and living area. So we ended up knocking down a portion of that wall. We didn't make the kitchen and the living area a total concept floor plan. We just demolished a portion of it and that was just enough to bring more light to the kitchen and make it feel a little bit larger. Tip number two, use bright and light colors like white, light gray, colors that are not too heavy. If you do want to use some colors, I would suggest going with muted colors. So a light gray, light green, light blue, exactly like we did on this kitchen here. So this will bring some warmth to your kitchen. It will be more colorful, but it's not too heavy on your eyes. Tip number three, invest on custom cabinetry. When you don't have a lot of room, which is the case for small kitchens, you have to make use of every room you have. With custom cabinetry, you can create solutions that will make use of every little space, every little corner you have in your kitchen. Modular cabinets will not give you that option because we have to work with their standard sizes. So let's see some examples. This is a small kitchen for a basement suite we designed. We located the cooktop on this side because we needed some room for a hood fan. The cooktop had to be about 8 inches away from the wall, so we could have some room to maneuver the pan and some room for the pan handle. So we ended up with 6 inches of space here, just between the cooktop, just between the oven and the wall. Some modular cabinetry suppliers would just enclose that gap. We instead created a small spicing rack drawer and that was only possible because we proposed custom cabinetry. Tip number four, choose appliances that are functional and compact. So let's take a look again at another project. So on this project here, we worked with a compact dishwasher. That was actually a dishwasher that the client already had. A regular dishwasher is usually 24 inches wide. This one was only 18 inches, so we ended up gaining 6 inches of cabinetry space. I would also suggest going with other compact appliance solutions, for example, a microwave over the range that will also work as a hood, that will also work as a fan, and probably going with a range instead of a cooktop and a wall oven. Now if you really like the cooktop and wall oven idea, I would suggest placing the oven just under the cooktop. That will save up a lot of room in your kitchen. Tip number five. Run your cabinets all the way to the ceiling. I know the upper portion of that cabinetry will be hard to reach, but when we are dealing with a small kitchen, 
we have to create solutions for storage space. So let's make use of the available height we have. When you run your cabinets all the way to the ceiling, you create a little area where you can store items that you don't have to use every day. It does look nice aesthetically and it will give you some extra storage. Tip number six, lighting. Lighting is a very important design feature and it's unfortunately often forgotten. Lighting is a great way to make a small room feel larger. For kitchens, I would suggest going with pot lights whenever possible because they are very discreet. Excess of details in a small area makes that room feel actually smaller. So avoiding those track lights will actually help with making your kitchen feel larger. Now, if you don't want to invest on pot lights, it's, if you think that's gonna be a lot of work, if you don't wanna change your electrical, you can just switch your existing light fixture to a L LED disc. LED discs are very thin, they look like pot lights, very discreet, and they are just mounted to the surface of a ceiling, exactly like a regular light fixture. It's still about lighting, I would suggest using under cabinet lighting as well, that will light up your work counter and will warm up your kitchen as well. Now the bonus tip that I promised you, if you don't feel you have enough room in your kitchen to restore what you have have. I would suggest finding ways to optimize the space you have available in your cabinetry. We can do that in kitchen renovations and have that set up before the cabinets are installed, but there are also options that you can do after the fact that doesn't require any renovation at all. I will show you a few ideas. First one, you can use the inner side of your cabinet door to organize and store some of your kitchen items. You can also use an organizer shelf rack to maximize the use of your cabinet space. And one area that it's often forgotten is actually the end of your cabinet. You can use the end of your cabinet by hanging some wire baskets to store towels, napkins, plates, and even produce. That's it guys! So if you have other ideas for a small kitchen renovation, please leave your knowledge on the comments below. And if you like my content and if you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. See you on my next one. Bye!